If we go back to November against Argentina, we, say, we see exactly the same position on the pitch. Conor Murray's going to feed the ball there. Um, and they're lined up in exactly the same way, uh, almost exactly the same way. You know, midfield scrum here, you got uh, Sexton and Aki and Stockdale down here. Um, and Murray breaks off the side of the ruck. And you can see, after the scrum rather, you can see these defenders all being attracted across here. Now, the, the, the difference this time is Aki actually goes over Sexton and Sexton comes underneath him there. Um, and that just gives a little kind of early cue uh, to, to the Argentinians to push back to that, to that uh, left-hand side of their, their scrum. Also note Stockdale here. He's, he's showing nothing. You know, his hands aren't up. Uh, Sexton Price, similarly enough, he's not really showing that much. He's not really a, a, a viable target. So the kind of body language is poor. Argentina can shift straight across. Uh, Aki throws that pass maybe a little bit early to, to Chris Farrell. And you can see here, the Argentinian defenders are already cl uh, closing up into that space. Um, he sees nothing in front of him, has to Adam, Adam Byrne. He's got two defenders on him. Uh, it's a real mess of a, of a kind of first phase attack. Uh, and he gets tackled uh, just behind the gain line. The forwards have to get around the corner uh, to get to that ruck. When we come to the Six Nations, you know, Joe Schmidt hasn't used this play since. He's been storing it away and he's made a slight little tweak. He's make, making sure that his players, the next time they execute it, months later, are going to be ready. Even before the ball goes, you can see Stockdale here, hand up. I'm a target. Uh, also, he's made a tweak in that Aki is going to come underneath Sexton, and Sexton's going to go in front of him here. So Sexton is more of an th instant threat to the defensive line, uh, and his, his kind of body language is really good as well. That animation that Joe Schmidt talks about, both those guys look like they could potentially get the ball. There's a lot more threat. Um, and when they switch underneath, it's later. So now Aki, after all these guys have been really drawn across, the back row from the Scots uh, has been drawn across onto that right-hand side, when he throws that pass out to, to Gary Ringrose, it is a one-on-one, -on -one, you know? And Peter Horn is straining to get across the pitch there. He could potentially go through the hands to those outside options, Earls uh, and Carney, who are really on, but he backs his footwork with loads of space, um, and he beats his man away go on. to go. <laughs> <laughs> and we know how that one ends, unfortunately. But for me, it's just an example of how ahead of the game Schmidt is with these little things. One little tweak, Aki gets underneath Sexton, ensuring his guys have that animation, you know, I'm a viable target for the ball. Um, and I think we've seen loads of, loads of examples of that across, the, across the, the, the tournament. Good animation, good discipline, all the little kind of pillars of the game. And now the confidence in their attack ha has increased on top of that. So for me, Schmidt is a, a massive factor in all this as well. He's, he's the guy who's driven everything. Um, and I think he's in a, a competitive advantage before Saturday.